How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Pod Ones Reacts. I am your host, Char Char J, joining by my co-host, Harith Productions, and Andy Wise Guy, our usual weekly special guest for the Acolyte. Today, we're going to be reacting to episode number five, titled Night, as opposed to last week's episode titled Day. So we're going to be seeing some darkness, lots of darkness, especially with how last week's episode ended off. But, man, are we ready to go? Yeah. Let's do this. Let's get right into this episode. I mean, with what the fandom has become over these past seven days, I I got to see what this episode has. Like, I need to have some sort of relief in knowing that the controversy will die. <laughs> like, we're not defined by what we lose. We're defined by what we survive. Facts. God, that that feels like such a last line. Well, there's Osha. Oh, we're just going from is Osha. She, oh, so this is, is an Osha point alive? here. So now I'm wondering what happens to May here. If I'm if I'm May, I just hide. Oh, there's one. There's oh. Josh. There's Josh's tweet. There's Josh's tweet right there. There's one of them. Where are the others? Oh my God! You see the skin dragged right? away? Oh. Oh. It's Jackie oh. Yord and Soul, I think. Yeah, there's no way that's Kamir. I don't know. It could be a Yoda situation. Oh! oh! What? Oh! Oh! oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! Soul. Yord has plot armor. Soul does not. <laughs> no, he does not. That's creepy as hell, but Soul got confidence. Mm hmm. It's Kamir. No, it's not. <laughs> Kamir is not moving like that. <clears throat> Yo, like, like the lightsaber <laughs> choreography thus far has been absolutely phenomenal. Wait. You tell me. There's like black yeah. hair on the back of their head. It's like curled hair. Like, say, a wrapped up bun? Right there. Or oh, my God. Oh, shit. That run was terrifying. Yeah. You see the tonage? Dude. On their arms? He's swinging like Luke in Return of the Jedi. You see that aggressiveness? Oh my god. What is on his arm? Yes. Oh, there, there you go. <laughs> yeah, you, you see the arms on him? Like, seriously. It's like it's like Beskar. Like, this this Sith is built. Moths. Attracts what? Oh, so that yeah, everyone thought that the Darksider oh. was going to use it for the... Uh, the the arthropods, but no, no. The, the Jedi, Jedi are gonna use it, which is I don't know if that's very Jedi of them. It's like they cling to the light but are scared of darkness. Yeah, so don't don't we go slowly. Yeah, I agree. Smart I agree. smart decision. You've always been weak. Yeah, like you see the biceps yeah. on him? That's no, not no, no. I I take my hit stance back immediately. Oh! Two v one. Hey, Here we go. he's about to kill May. So, so that whole coven thing can just be. Yeah. May, get in there. Nope. <laughs> what like the fuck? Like, yeah. like I'm telling you, the helmet just deactivates it. So it's like I don't need the lightsaber to kick your ass. Dude, Dude look I at want Jackie. It. No, oh, my God. God. The helmet's breaking. The helmet's off. The helmet's off. Who is it? It's two! What? No! What? The fuck? Who is it? Who is that? It's Kamir. Kamir. It is Kamir. How did he not recognize him from before? Ooh. Oh, Yord! Smart play, Yord! Oh my god, dude. Oh, he broke his arm! Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god! You. What the fuck? Oh, Down goes oh, your horde. Oh, I guess not the horde is corpse. Oh. Oh my god. Oh yeah. The small <laughs> ass kicker. Finish him. What are you doing? <laughs> Trust him. Even after everything he did to you. <laughs> you're giving him an opening. Soul, you're gonna live to regret that. We're about to see him mow down a bunch of bugs. <laughs> Smart. Well done. Oh my God. And 
Here comes the day. Are we not? Please, Usha. Are we gonna forget that he just snapped Yord's neck? Oh, man! Yo, what the fuck Whoa. just happened? It's day now. I'm just gonna leave Soul back there. He'll be fine. Yeah, leave him with a Sith. He'll be. He'll yeah. definitely be fine. Well, you have no idea where the Sith is. But we do not have a body. The Jedi got what they deserved. Those Jedi were more my family than you. Ever. <laughs> You've forgotten who we are. They've turned you against me. Anakin yeah. quote. But it's okay, Usha. I can help you. Are we getting like a Last Jedi throne room type moment? Hmm. Don't choose them again. Please choose me. It's been choose it's manipulative as shit. Yeah, that's what the dark side does. We still got about like five more minutes of this episode. What? I think it's gonna Something pan around. Happened. Soul's gonna be behind her, or be someone else. What? You're a criminal, man. You must pay for your crimes. What are you doing? <laughs> Tell me she's got the stun gun. No, she has a lightsaber. Is that Souls? Uh. Yords. No, it's yours. Oh, cutting off the braids. Of course, he's Kyra still DLG alive. to go to the master now. The quote tech. I thought that was obvious. <laughs> Basil. Oh, there's Basil. Oh my God. That's May. Yeah. Is that May or Osha? That's got to be May. That that is 100 percent May. They pulled a knock out the stormtrooper, take the stormtrooper armor type of trick. Oh, look at them. Playing a little checkers. Little did they know everyone just got massacred in the woods. So Soul has to die. Like, I can't help but wonder if he knows. He must you, know. You know what the crazy thing is? Everyone thought that whoever didn't have a speaking line would die, but like, no. Yord is gone. Jackie is Jackie gone. Jackie is gone. Um, Osha is question mark. Is incapacitated. She just left her with a Sith Lord. No, I think he knows. You think Soul's just playing cool? Ooh, Basil. Maybe Basil would be like, nah, the civilian's calling Cap. <laughs> yep. The yep. They're switched. Holy what? The absolute hell. fuck just happened. I think Basil's going to figure out that that is not Osha. They are I'm, not leaving. I'm so yet. so nervous. I'm, I didn't think they ha would have the balls to kill not only Jackie but Yord too. That I mean, Yord's was the shocking of the two. Like I think just, Jackie just was just as shocking, ease. but the brutality of it. Yeah. <sighs> I, I mean, yeah. Uh, Jackie got stabbed three times after putting up one hell of a fight. May I add? Yeah, like that. I mean, that entire battle was fantastic. Yord got his neck snapped. I'm. I just have. I have a question. I'm confused about something. Physically, like by hand. It wasn't like so, Vader. A Vader on Mapuzo, where he just snapped the kid's neck. No, no. It was. Yeah. So if oh Kamir was Soul's pupil, how did pu how did Soul not recognize him in the shot? Because the dark side clouds everything. But wouldn't you remember training someone like that and be like that kind of guy like this little airy similar? Maybe similar maybe he left the Jedi at a young age. One, maybe. Once again, though, uh, like here we are, like a, a huge amount of story has been given to us. And we are sitting here asking questions because we want to like the way that they have spun out this narrative through these five episodes has just been so enticing and enthralling like i i want more i would have loved for this episode to go another 20 minutes like i see why they originally wanted to make this one episode because that would have been insane <sighs> yeah but in the middle of the season that wouldn't have been yeah that wouldn't have fit right but it, it feels like the halfway point of the season though yeah but when is a show a star wars show ever been like the longest yeah. episode be in the middle of the season it's always the finale always yeah. the finale and sometimes even like even the uh, like the per first episode is like the longest sometimes I, too. I'm Never just curious. The middle. I'm just curious if they're like what's going to happen with May and Soul now. So now, oh. now we know 
who the dark sider is yeah there's a lot of master coral and theories there was a lot of like like Darth the moment Portals. that i saw the <laughs> moment that i saw the like, biceps no 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 the moment that i well that too but the moment that i saw the saber get thrown at may's head just proved that like if it was an actual member of the the coven they would have a little bit of sentiment towards may or osha i but my theory is right from last week's about not not since his identity but the whole him wanting to keep osha alive thing yeah. i call that right yeah on the time. to be able to have another acolyte because he was like fine if i'll just replace her with the other twin <laughs> well and here, he's oh, he's got right. He's got such a, a I don't want to say a blank canvas, but such a way now to turn her because she is he has already planted those seeds of why didn't you tell her what actually happened on Kofar or on not Kofar, excuse me, on Brendoc. Mm-hmm. Like and Which you could see her face. Know. No, we still don't know. But you could see it in her face, like, what the fuck is going on here? Also the whole um May already kind of supplanted that seeds a little bit too, with the whole like why didn't you join your sister when you had the chance? Type of shit. No. Oh my god. Like, like this is literally like the High Republic. Yep. This is literally feels like the High Republic. Not in terms of like where the story is, like in the timeline, but like just the totally. way that like, the characters are offed. Like the way that you like get connected to these characters and then just yep. I Ed, I still agree with like, the critiques we had for the episode. Like if they would have I think the way they did Jackie and Nord last week, I thought that was perfect. Just like, because I think if they played a little too harder into that, that would have gave away their cards. Yeah. And it would yeah. took away the shock. I just wish the nameless Jedi would have got something out of that. I mean, they got something. They, they, to me have had the top five deaths in star Wars period. That Jedi shish kebab was something else. That him like force <laughs> yeah. them into it, like stabbing just them. Sure. I was like, what in the f- <laughs> Like that is the most Sith thing ever. Just using a corpse to bring in the other one and just go right through it. Yeah. Like that was yeah. beyond brutal. The like Keldor getting stabbed like right off the bat. I was like, okay, this is where we're going. We're, we're we've come to play today. That was, I mean, I like my brain is still swimming over that that fight. Like Jackie's choreography, Jackie's battle with the two Dude, sabers. Yeah, da- Daphne like, King killed it again. Like, yeah. like. Like if you've watched Logan, like her as Laura is insane, and the stuff that yeah. she was doing in Logan, this is like another level of just like, like her and like May flipping over each other and like trying to get the cuffs on, and then like her grabbing both lightsabers and like her jumping all over the place. You're just like, holy shit! Yeah, yeah. Like Daphne uh, and Keen killed this episode. Oh, a hundred percent. And and I mean like full props to to Chimera, to Manny Jacinto. Because the way oh that he could, like, it, just in that one scene where he's talking to Soul, and then he quickly flips over to May, and his whole face and voice and mannerism changes, and he's Chimer, and then he's back to be like just—it's so Palpatine. Incredible. It's like it's like Senator Palpatine and Sidious almost. Yeah. And then I also love how, I mean, I, I'm I actually kind of like the Kamir reveal now in hindsight because it's like it's like a mirror of Yoda almost. Where it's like yeah. Kamir is like playing off as silly and stupid and goofy and like, oh, I don't know what I'm really doing. And then when you watch him flip that switch, you're just like, holy yeah. shit. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, Nick, in the in the group chat that we're in with Luke, Luke already Luke was watching the episode on his own. Mm. And in the chat, he said um he he claims that Kamir or the nameless Sith is a knight of Ren. But I doubt it. He's not. He called himself a Sith. Yeah, but I mean, no, like, but he's like, no. But Luke said, no. He said, what you Jedi would call me is Sith. He never said he true. was a Sith. I mean, the, like, ma- the mask gives he's, it. He's implying it. Yeah, I mean, the, the the mask definitely gives Knight of Ren vibes. I thought he, and I've said that since it first got shown. Um, I don't think this is a Knight of Ren. The Knight no, of Ren aren't The reason why, it's not because of the helmet. It's because of the music in the end credits, which kind of sounds like a slowed down version of Kylo Ren's theme. But there's bits yeah. pieces that are not. To, to exactly me, it. 
maybe it's recency bias. This is giving more Inquisitor vibes. Like, like, like the stuff, like the like the helmet it looks a lot like the one that Barris is wearing in Tales of the Empire. Yeah. Like, that's the kind of the vibe I got. And then the whole like, if you see my face, like I have to kill you type thing. That that feels very Inquisitor. No, no, and like before we even came into the show, we knew this show was about the Sith. We knew yeah. this. Like, there's yeah. no like, like beating around the the bush about whether or not it's like like a different type of dark side no, or whether it be a knight of Ren or if it's yeah. an, like, no, this is a Sith trained this, by a Sith, which we have not seen yet because a Sith doesn't just come up out of the blue. Like no. the line keeps going, but like they're just in hiding. Yeah. But now, now they're not. No, but now we got to see who trained Kamir. Yeah, because yeah. he's clearly we got to see apprentice. who trained Kamir. Because at this point in time, in terms of like the old canon, Fuck technically, the old canon. technically it's Tenebris, but, but we also don't know how long Nunes live if it's Plagueis. But but we like we don't like Kamir is a brand new or whatever his name is at the end of the day. As far as we know right now, is a brand new invention to canon. I don't think that they would have it be Tenebris and and not just say that right i think honestly no because it's like the end of the phantom menace yeah i said at the end of the stream here's my hot take of the century if they're if they are gonna do the whole if they're tearing to the old canon that shit skip tenebris let's just go straight to plagueis just move plagueis's age up in the timeline yeah i mean i think that makes more sense because a the casualty fans will go holy shit it's plagueis two Matt Martin has already kind of implied on Twitter years ago that Plagueis' death happened, quote-unquote, years before the Phantom Menace. So just move Plagueis' age up. I think that is the more easier transition. And the thing is, a lot of people, and well, a lot of the shows that we've seen thus far, we know the lifespan of some of these species, like the Duros with Cad Bane. Cad Bane is old with the Miri Allen, with the Vernestra. She's old with... Syrians now they're old so now they're kind of like we're understanding more how long some species live for and I mean I feel like if I mean if they have Plagueis and he's not immune the amount of people that would go fucking crazy <laughs> oh, I would love it batch it crazy See, honestly I, mean, I would prefer him to be immune I, I mean just because of like his story I don't know but like secrets of the Sith kind of left it open because in the book they kind of they obscure his face. You don't see his face. They purposely hide I, it. I know, but like, it's just, that's just I mean, one I mean, thing I was, that I don't want. Like, I know that I like, I believe that like canon is like the almighty, but like, I feel like Plagueis should be immune. Like, that's just me. But I mean, why not it be at the end of this series that Plagueis becomes the acolyte? I like the idea that, that he's the puppet master at this point. I think that's more fun. Again, I am open to the idea of him if they do it well. Like that could be a cool transition. But I also don't want him killing Osha or May or whatever they decide on at this point. Most likely going to be Osha. Yeah, I because like, I mean, I think that would be cheap. I think I'd rather have like, him pulling the puppet strings. It'd be like mm-hmm. you're watching the like how like like I said, I don't want this to connect majorly into the Skywalker saga. But it would be cool to see how Palpatine is pulling from these Siths. It'll eventually lead like, into it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe Tenebris is the master and, and we end with Chimere being cut down, not knowing that Tenebris already has Plagueis. Oh, that'd tow. be cool. It's like a, du- it's like a Dooku parallel. No, yeah. but that, but that's what I'm trying to say. Like it's, a, I feel like it's going to be very similar to the end of the Phantom Menace when Mace Windu and Yoda were talking about like, but which one was destroyed, the master or the apprentice? Because I feel like Kamir's going to die. Oh yeah. But the Sith are still going to live. Oh yeah. Kamir, like, like, you can kiss Kamir goodbye since his face got revealed. Well, and, and that's honestly why I think that they're not leaving Kofar. Because it, if you if you have them leave Kofar, if you have them make contact with this working group, low council, whatever we want to call them from last week, as much as we have seen the Jedi be willing to cover up and hide and, and subterfuge things that they don't want the general galaxy to know, Kiyadi Mundi is not smart enough to be able to keep that a secret. I, I love him, but he's not that smart. <laughs> well, <laughs> not, not, not only, but like he will, he will never know. Yeah. He that's what like, I don't ever know. He'll I don't never think hear the light of this. I don't think that they're leaving Kofar. I think that this series is going to end on Kofar. I think I that think, you're going to see soul 
find out whether it's next week or the week after that May is, is masquerading as OSHA. He's going to contact Vernestra and go, look, I need to end this. We've got this person here. Vernestra is going to come, which is why we saw the light whip shot in the trailer. It's going to end with Chimere biting it. And Vernestra is going to be like, so, uh, dark side user, let's move on. Yeah. Okay, great. And that'll be it. I, 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 can see, <laughs> I, I can see Charles prediction being right. And that being the final line of the, of the show, just kind of mirroring Phantom Menace. Of like, what did we get? Did we kill the master or the apprentice? And they're like, and I can see Vernestra just going, who cares? And yeah. then, and then the T shot of who the master was yeah. kind of similar to that shot, that side profile of Palpatine that we get in Phantom Menace. You get a side profile of whether it's Tenebris or Plagueis and that's your season two. I, I could see that happening, but like, dude, having the whole rest of the season take place on Kovar. Holy shit. That would be suspenseful as hell. Right? Uh, it's like, I think it's maybe like, the next episode will be on Kofar, but for the rest of it, I don't know if we're going to, that would, that would be like we, we know we're going back to Brendock. We know that because we still have not seen the scenes. We need to get the other flashback. Ke- exactly. We still haven't seen the Kelnaka scenes yet that happen on Brendock. Mm-hmm. But I mean, Vernestra is, I mean, to me, very clearly on Kofar on that se- of that shot of her with a light whip. The the terrain and the vegetation, it looks the same to me. I agree. So, I, I, I I could honestly see them not leaving it, and I think that would be fine because the environment that they've built there between last week's day and today's well, night is just fantastic. Here, here's the question. Do you think we're going to stick with soul and may and this whole plot line, or do you think we're going back for next week? Yeah. Oh, next week. I think we're going flashback. I, I, I could see it starting the, the flashback happening by Chimere bringing OSHA back to it. And it's sort of a, again, that Rashomon, tainted view of what Chimera wants Osha to think having happened. Kind of like Kylo's point of view to Ray and last Jedi. Exactly. To help then, sort of start that journey of bringing her on as the acolyte. Interesting. And then Chase's prediction may be right. The truth may not be revealed until the finale. Yeah. Yeah. I can see it. Dude, this season's going to be crazy. Oh, it's been so good. <laughs> Are we going to argue about this, Luke? Argue about what? He's Where not a Knight of Ren. He he's not a Knight of Ren. He's not no, a he's Knight of Ren. Dude, we, will, no. we will die on no. the hill. Yes, Luke, yes, before Luke, we watched the show, was, we knew Luke, it was about the Sith. Luke, like you this, thought it was a triplet last week. We're not beating be, be be around the book. First, first, of all, first, of all, first of all, you guys didn't even acknowledge my, ni- my nice, like, I got new flow here. I know, yeah, you look nice. You look, you look, you that clean cut. Tell us why he's a knight of Ren. Okay, okay, first of all, if why oh, he said he straight up said, and Alanis was, we were watching it together. She, he literally yeah. says, I am what you got, you Jedi would call Sith. He didn't call himself a Sith. True. That, we will give you and, that. And, and, I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and, the, and Kylo Ren's theme was playing. Really? It wasn't playing. It was a slow. It it's sounded the, like it slowed it's so down. The same so here's fucking theme, bro. No, it's so not. So it's, 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 no, it's not. Is that is that is the wording of that mind? Was in the is, same is the wording time, of that bro. mind there? I know, but is is the wording of that line? I am what you would call me a Sith. No. Simply there to no, no no. Let me finish. Just simply there to finish and not break. What is said in the Phantom Menace? What is current it, canon? It gives, it gives the Jedi that kind of plausible deniability of, well, he said that we would call him a Sith. But that doesn't mean that he is a Sith. So we're not lying when we say we haven't seen the Sith in a millennia. I don't. Oh, now I got you thinking. You like you <laughs> think about, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he's a Knight of Ren because then they don't have to technically, they don't have to technically lie that there wasn't a Sith. That's their but, way out. But it doesn't. That would be a, that would be an unsatisfying how, reveal. How? How would but, it be? Also, because, like, Knight, because we don't have very much knowledge of the Knights of Ren, besides the comic. We, it's true. The acolyte of the Knight of Ren. Ren. That doesn't fit well. I mean, and, and, why and would there be an acolyte okay, of the Knight? Here's of my Ren. thing. Here's my thing. Their whole thing is is that okay? First of all, Soul's alive. No Thanks to Ocean. Is. Uh, <laughs> no, like how how is that going to work out like none of these jedi should know 
this this all leads back to my this is a conspiracy and the Jedi are are covering this up. That's well, that's what I was saying. Like I I, I don't think that they're going to leave Kofar. I think that the the two of the last three episodes are going to stay on Kofar. One's going to be a flashback. They're going to kill Kymir or whatever the hell his name is, and Vernestra's going to go. So, dark side user, we're good here. Yeah. Okay. Good. Sweep under the rug. Carry on our way. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. no, no. Yeah. And I think I think because we were talking about this before he came in, we think next week's going to be the flashback. Oh, yeah, for sure. But it's going to be Kymir yeah. twisting Osha's point of view. Oh, of what for happened. sure. For sure, it, the next week's gonna be the the flashback for sure, no doubt. Yeah. So, so I think Nick is right. I think that rest of the season we're not leaving Kofar. Uh, no, we are leaving Kofar because I'm pretty sure Soul in May had already taken off, unless they haven't taken off and they sent a distress signal I, to Vernestra, and that's how Vernestra gets. That's there. what I'm. I well, I, I, I think. I think I think, I think Basil, Basil puts it together. Yeah, I think Basil at the end of that episode being on that ship is key. I think at the start yeah, of whenever it is we get back to that ship, he's going to realize this isn't OSHA. This isn't the person who owns this oh, yeah. droid. Really- or you, you know what? You know what may happen because of the whole switch route between May and OSHA. I'm thinking <laughs> Soul tells Vernestra that May killed Kilnaka. Then there, there, let's just let's just preface this. I feel like there'll be no mention of the dark sider from soul to Vernestra. Cause here's the thing. If Vernestra finds out and then that, like, I feel like it'd be a weird thing. Cause I feel like Vernestra has been so informed about this Jedi assassin that she was like, you know what? I'll just take this into my own hands. Like this is getting way too yeah. more. This is getting way more complicated than it needed to be. So she's going to go and do it by herself. Love the popcorn box. But in reality, way. she's going to go there and she just see Osha is there and not may. Because well, we also have to keep in mind that Kamir is close. At the end. But, all, but also, <laughs> but we like we like Soul doesn't know Kelnaka is dead. No one stepped foot inside of that living quarters except Jackie did, for but Jackie May. died immediately. Yeah, that yeah. was so insane. No, no one wasn't that insane. <laughs> My goodness, Alanis that that breakaway. Alanis literally then like, your... Alanis screamed. I I don't think I've ever seen her scream at like a star like watching Star Wars except for that moment. Dude, we were all screaming "What the fuck!" like a lot. Yeah, between that and then Yord, Yord getting his neck snapped. Hey, it's not funny when it happens to you, is it? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just saying that, like, like, but I mean, everyone, like, everyone running Yucky into this jammers. episode. Figured, wow, rest- that rest in peace, everybody's favorite like characters now. That's what I said. Kelnaka crew, you know, dismissed. You know what? Jackie you know Jam, still dismissed. around, baby. Yord Horde, so gone. Yeah, yeah, not for much longer, buddy boy. He's he's gonna <laughs> be for... dead. Shut up. Let me have these two ep- three ep- okay, the last three episodes okay. of Soul Patrol. So this makes me think. I don't know if we're gonna get a season two. This feels. Oh, I think no, we will. I don't because this feels to me like it was. Like, our, we're already planning on getting one. Let, no. uh, let's see how uh-huh. hinted at that there will be multiple seasons. She already made hints that she said if we get multiple seasons, I already have an idea for what we will do. If, yeah. if, what she, if what she, you said if. Well, but what what she said is that she she pitched this as a multi season show, but that each season would have a complete story within it, so it would connect. But if you only got one season or two seasons, you wouldn't be left hanging at the end of it. What I was saying Luke, before you got on is I think that's going to end. Like, Chimera's going to bite it, or whatever his name is. He's going to bite it. Vernestra's going to be like, yep, okay, we're done. Under the rug we go. Nothing to talk about here. And we're going to cut off to almost like a – we were talking about the conversation, like a, a reverse-type Phantom Menace where we're talking about did we get rid of the Master? Did we get rid of the the Apprentice? Vernestra basically going, I don't care. And then us cutting out to whatever, whoever the Master is, whether it's Tenebris, whether it's Plagueis, and that's your season two. It- if that's it, that's that's good because they the Sith need to be out of sight, out of mind Present. for everybody yeah. to be happy about all of this. Well, as soon as Kamir showed his face, you know mm-hmm. he's dead. Oh yeah, right. I knew that too. I was like, there's no way that soul here's here's a theory. What if Kymir is like a distant is like a brother of Souls? Because I felt like he was very antagonist, not just as like a villain. But like the way he was talking, Ooh. the way he was talking to Saul. I, you're, I you're got the implication like, that he was like a, Zephyron. a pupil. I got the implication that he was a pupil because he said mastered him at one point. And he was like, he's like, I trained you, and you, and then he, he, oh, that, he made no, the whole comment about revealing his face. But he was being antagonistic 
in that in that, that, that master. Yeah, he was he was that would bring parallels him. to phase two. He yeah. was in- that would bring parallels to phase two. Yeah. So in phase two, spoilers: the mother of the path of the open hand is the sister of Olivia Zevron, the Jedi Knight that's based on Jeddah. Okay. And that, the, and when they were little. The Jedi decided to take Olivia. They did not take Alicia, as her name oh was. Oh my God! Because they, they wait, felt those wait, dark side leanings wait, in her. Wait, wait, wait! That's just the plot of living the the living force as well. If you think about it. Yes. Yes. Except it's not sisters. It's so, it's friends. But yeah. So, so TLDR Jedi, if you're going to take one of your like a one, sibling or both. a friendship take, take no, both I, of them I, I, <laughs> stick one of them on custodian duty in the library or something no, but like <laughs> like here's my do we think for just gonna make it out of this show no. I, I, do I, do I? Well, no i do i do because someone has to be around to cover it up because if 10 jedi die i think soul is more on the to be no. deadless and no because no, you, know you know why though because they're not going to let a dark side force you. The only way that that Vernestra survives this is if she ends that Sith, and that's the end of it. They all they I all mir- miraculously died. Don't know how it happened, but whatever. Yeah, oh, and I, I think mean, I think I think Vernestra won't even see his face. I think she'll just see the helmet again. And I think I think Kamir's going to kill Soul. I think Osha's going to kill Soul. I really do. Oh my god, that would be more fucked and morbid. I mean, I, it's I, oh my god, that actually is kind of the perfect season finale. Yeah, because because I mean, if 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 we get what I think we're gonna get, which is Chimere giving Osha a twisted flashback as to what happened on Brendock, as to lead her down the path to being that acolyte. Other other thing, her killing Soul without a weapon, Oof. and then Vernestra versus the the Apprentice. Yeah, I can see that being the season I, finale. I think. Yep. It doesn't matter. Wait. <laughs> you were on the reaction. I, I think that I think it's ten. I think Tenebris is going to be the master. I think what Nick is saying is that, or 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 I, I, or, or or or. Here's another thing. This is probably not going to happen. But uh, let's say that Chimere is the apprentice. Either either is, either either Plagueis or Tenebris show up. And they're like, bro, you have you have exposed us. You're done. And that's how it's done. And then and then that's another explanation. Like they don't like 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 Chimere. Like, like, no, 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 no. Time out. Like Chimere, ex- yeah. Chimere escapes, goes back to the hideout. Tenebris or, or Plagueis, whoever's the master, says you've been you've exposed us. You're done. Like we can't have you destroying our plants. And they kill him. And there's another option. There's another option for you to be like, oh, it doesn't break anything because this well, never. Stopped. Nick Nick brought up an interesting theory. Depending Which on what one? they do, I'm still like the, the like the idea that it's Plagueis. I think that just simplifies it a little bit. But if they're doing Tenebris, Nick theorized oh, what yeah. if they're doing a Palpatine Dooku situation, and Tenebris already has Plagueis already kind of in position. Oh yeah, coming along. And, and then he just oh, takes out, he takes out Kamir. He's like, now you're like the apprentice. Like in the book. So basically, like in the book, where where. Yeah, well, like Tales of the Jedi. Ta- well, ta- like Tales where of the- Tenebris is like, he has two apprentices. The other one comes and attacks Plagueis and he kills him, finds out that he's alive. Actually, no, Plagueis doesn't kill him. He keeps him alive for scientific purposes to test yes. metachlorians. So. I mean, I could even see, like, if, if the Sith really want to be clear of this and make sure that they're not implicated, Vernestra dies by an accident. That's orchestrated by a Tenebris or a Plagueis, like a ship malfunction in hyperspace or something that cannot tie back to them at all before. Because that I mean, think about it. If if they believe the Sith exists, the last thing the Jedi are going to want to do is broadcast that over a hollow channel back to Coruscant. Vernestra is going to take that message to give it in person to the council. You cut her off on the way. You never know what happened. So, but <laughs> I got I got to watch this again. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> that's gonna be it for our reaction to episode five, night. Um, first and foremost, thank you guys all for watching. Um, please let us know down below in the comments what you thought about this episode. I'm sure that we have a lot of thoughts, as you've heard already. Um, but um, go ahead and leave a like on this video. Um, subscribe to our channel. Click the bell for notifications if you have not already, and. 
for light and for life, we are all the Republic, and may the Force be with you. Always. 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 See you guys.